Welcome back, my 3D print design sculptors. Today, we are gonna be talking about the smooth brush, so let's get started. Open up your blender and put some fruits in it and blend it up. I'm just kidding. We're gonna do new file general and go ahead and save it, you know, because good habit. We'll just call it smooth and save it as. All right, go ahead and set up your design for sculpting. So we're gonna do matte caps. Let's do our colors and add our multi-resolution to give ourselves something to sculpt with. I'm gonna crank it up to five and let's go ahead and swip swap into our sculpt mode. And again, the easiest way is to not go down really far. You wanna do control tab and then barely move down and then do that really quickly. So here we go, control tab down. Boom, there you go. So that's a little tip if you were having trouble with that in the past few episodes. But let's get started today. We are doing the sculpt brush. So like I said before, you can always, you know, no matter which one of these brushes you're using, or most of these brushes, you can actually just get to the smoothing brush by just holding shift. And so notice as I hit shift and I'm smoothing, if you look to the left over here, it just automatically jumps to the smooth brush. So shift is going to be your shortcut for smoothing and you're going to use it a lot. I mean, out of all the brushes, I probably use the smoothing the most because I'm always just messing things up, you know, like crazy. And then I'm smoothing them out. And that's kind of my workflow. So let's just go, let's just talk about the smooth. And since Suzanne is already smooth here, let's go ahead and delete our higher subdivisions. So I'm going to just crank that down to zero and then delete higher. Notice that zero went away and now we can't go up anymore. So essentially we've kind of deleted our subdivisions. And now let's just do the subdivision simple and that will give us, you know, just some more geometry. Maybe we'll just hit simple until we get about five sculpting levels. And, you know, just like before, it's just adding a bunch of geometry to our monkey here so that we can actually do some sculpting. So what we're gonna do in this lesson is just smooth out these hard edges with our smooth tool. So notice we've got our radius that you can scale with F just like before. You got your strength up here, which is shift F and you can, you know, adjust that or, you know, your pin tablet pressure and positive and negative. And also notice in the tools here, we have different types of deformation. We have Laplacian, <laughs> Laplacian, I'm not sure how to say that, but that is gonna smooth the surface and the volume. So it can actually change the shape of the volume. And then you can also flip it to surface and that's going to smooth the surface while keeping the shape preservation. So you have those two, it's gonna just default with Laplacian, <laughs> Laplacian, but uh, you know, you have that option if you need it. So let's go ahead and do some smoothing. What I want you to do is just, you know, take one side of Suzanne and just start smoothing out all these lines here. And then, you know, play with the different sizes, play with the different pressures, you know, so you really, just get used to using the smooth tool. Like I said, you're gonna use it so much and it's gonna become one of your best brush friends here. And then, you know, maybe even do really tiny ones and see, you know, what's the difference there. So, you know, get different, just get different styles of smoothing here. You can also increase the strength with shift F and, you know, go really hardcore smoothing here or, you know, shift F and take it all down to soft down, you know, maybe you just wanna barely smooth something. So that's what I want you to do. Try different smoothing techniques. So this one, I just made it really huge and very soft. So you can see it's, it's just barely softening the edges here on Suzanne. You can see the difference on this side and this side. So maybe, you know, you don't wanna deform the entire thing like crazy, but you just wanna soften some of the hard edges. So pretty self-explanatory. If I crank it up, let's just go all the way to one. You know, we're doing some Pretty incredible smoothing jobs here. All right, and so that's Laplacian. And now let's go ahead and use the other deformation, which is surface. And that's gonna keep the general you know, shape or volume of your design, but you can adjust these parameters. Let me drag it out here so we can kind of see. We have our shape preservation and our per vertex displacement and the iterations. So these are all gonna to work together. And with these, uh, less is actually more on these top two. So, you know, say if we just barely raise it up, you know, like 0.1, maybe do this one 0.1, then that one's actually, it's, you know, it's gonna smooth out, but keep our overall shape or our volume. Uh, but say if we cranked it up to like 0.5, we'll just type it in there, 0.5 and 
then you know it's not really going to do that much smoothing on these edges here just a little bit and if we cranked it all the way up to one it's not really going to you know it's going to really focus on keeping the shape of our design and just barely barely smoothing these these edges and you can increase the iterations that's just per brush step I don't really use this one that much, but maybe if you are trying to do some smoothing and you don't want it to deform your volume, then you may want to switch it over into surface. But for the most part, you can just keep it in La Placian. So that is the smoothing brush. But what I want you to do is just really just play around with it. Maybe even hold control, do the opposite of smoothing, which is making it more rough. So, you know, so if you need something to look rough, you know, just hold control. It, it deforms the model pretty dramatically so you have to be pretty careful with it you can already see some some artifacting here so i'll just smooth it out and fix it but that is the smooth brush essentially so you know most of the time you're probably just going to use it for smoothing and to be honest i usually i don't really ever click on the smooth brush um, i usually just you know hold shift with any other brush that i'm using and just quickly you know just stay in the habit of smoothing out my designs with the shift key. But I just want you to know that you do have, you know, different deformation styles if you need them. So that's the smooth tool. Hope you enjoy it. You're going to use it a lot. And let's go ahead and jump into the next lesson whenever you're done smoothing Suzanne out here. And we'll talk about the flatten tool.